let us give a few uh, exercises on what you can write on a transition. So just a few examples and let's think a bit about what are the possibilities. So before we go back to writing uh, PDAs. So as you know, these are all the possibilities, right? On each transition, you can write three things, the input, the precondition, the postcondition. So in the postcondition, they're all optionals, right? You can always skip them, but you can do one of three things or one thing for each of the three um, possibilities. So in input, you can read a certain character. On pop, you can pop a certain character. Um, and then as post, you can push a certain character. And this assumes an order that you first pop and then you push. So I'm going to give you a few examples and I'm hoping that you'll pause this video at the, uh, whenever I, after I read it so that you can try to do the exercise yourself and then confirm if you got it right. So, okay, so in the first exercise, what we want to do is we want to test if, um, if I can read an input zero and if my stack is empty, then I will advance. So this assumes that I'm not doing anything um, else on the stack and that I'm consuming the stack empty uh, sentinel assumes as well that we have initialized our stack with the sentinel empty. So how would I write that? Please hit pause. Okay, and this is how you would do it. You would read zero, you would consume empty from the top of the stack, um, and then you would skip. That means you're not pushing anything else, which assumes that now your stack is completely empty, and that you've consumed zero. Okay, so how do I just test if my stack is empty? So you can hit pause now. Okay, so let's see if you got it right. So you can test, and here by test I mean you will pop the empty from the stack. So here is similar to the previous example, but without reading. So I just want to check if uh, the stack is empty and I'm going to consume the element. So if I want to do that, I would write it in this way. So that means that after this operation, because I didn't pop anything and I just, sorry, because I didn't push anything and I just popped, now my stack is completely empty. So how do I, w but let's say I want to do something different, which is I want to, check if something is on top of the stack, but I want to leave the stack unchanged. So how do I do that? Well, the way you do that is you hit pause, try. Okay, so the way you do that is by popping the letter and then pushing it again. So this is a way where you can just, if you want to leave the stack unchanged, but you still want to check the top of the stack, you can do it this way. You don't touch the, the input and you, you pop the certain letter that you want from the stack and then you push it back in. Again, if you want to just check if there's a element and you don't really care, then you would have to write one edge for every character that you have in the alphabet of the stacks. Okay, so what if I just want to read B and I don't want to touch in my stack? I don't want to touch my stack. How do I do that? Okay, hit pause. Okay, so the way you do that is by reading B and then doing skip on both operations. 